This binocular costs 140 bucks. This one's 490, and this one a whopping $2,000. And there are plenty of binos that are even cheaper or more expensive. For someone who's not familiar with binoculars, it can be really tough to figure out what makes such a big difference. Is it really worth paying extra for the high-end models? And what exactly drives the price up? So in this video, we're going to break down how the cost impacts your actual viewing experience, why sometimes it's worth spending more, and when you can save they go with the budget option. Hey everyone, welcome back to Sports and Gadgets. I've got a few Vortex binoculars here. Even their budget models are top-notch compared to others in the same price range or even some more expensive binoculars. I love them because you always get a bit more than you pay for. No matter the price, all their models are waterproof and shock resistant with exceptional glass and build quality. They've got sealed O-rings and a tough coating to keep out moisture, dust and dirt. Plus, every Vortex product has a lifetime warranty. That means if your binoculars get damaged, even if they are completely burned in a fire, they're still covered. So whatever your budget, going with Vortex is a safe bet. But there is still a big difference in price between models. So what exactly makes one more expensive than another? One of the factors that affects the price of binoculars is the type of optical design. Roof prism binoculars, like all these models, tend to be more expensive because they require more complex manufacturing and assembly. But their main advantage is that they are more compact and easier to carry around. On the other hand, poorer prism binoculars have that classic wide design. They are larger and take up more space, but they are also cheaper to produce. But the most significant factor that affects the price of binoculars is the materials they are made of. This includes the body materials like the frame, outer coatings, the quality of the lenses and prisms, as well as the precision of the focusing mechanisms and the diopter adjustment. Materials in cheaper binoculars, like those you might find on Amazon for 20 or 30 bucks, are usually of really low quality, often made mostly from cheap plastic, and they tend to wear out really fast. And I mean really fast, even without any direct damage. Regular use along with exposure to temperature changes and moisture can quickly lead to problems. The most common issues usually start with the twist-up eye cups and the focus wheel. You also can't afford to drop them or use them in extreme conditions because the binoculars might fail, leaving you unable to use them anymore. Now, if we look at specific budget-friendly options from Vortex, like the Bandman HD for $69 or this Crossfire HD, which starts at $149, the body in these binoculars is made from durable aluminum and the exterior is covered with rubber armor which is really tough and protects the binoculars from impacts and drops. They are fully waterproof, fogproof and shockproof. The Crossfire is actually a unique lineup with a build quality that ensures high durability and longevity and in my opinion it offers much more value than its price suggests. I've taken it on mountain hikes and camping trips, dropped it hard on the ground several times but the binoculars didn't even flinch at the extreme treatment. It's still in almost brand new condition. However, aluminum isn't as strong or lightweight as the materials used in higher-end premium models, which is one of the reasons for its lower price. Well, if we take a more expensive model like the Viper HD, which starts at $489, we can see that it uses a magnesium alloy body, which is much stronger and lighter than aluminum. This material is better suited to withstand extreme conditions and stress, making the binoculars more durable and resistant to damage. There is also a higher-end category of binoculars like this. This Razer UHD, which starts at $1,000, and this particular model with 18 times magnification costs $2,000. It also uses a magnesium alloy body, but it's further reinforced with an anodized coating, making it even more resistant to corrosion and damage. This binocular is made from the highest quality materials, and it features a more premium finish. And it's fully manufactured in Japan, which also contributes to its cost. Binoculars in this price range are designed for professional use in the harshest conditions where maximum reliability and durability are essential. I've been using it for about six months and I've dropped them pretty hard, but they're totally unfazed by all the adventures they've been through. This is truly one of those cases where the binoculars are built to withstand extreme conditions, including the glass. And once you've decided which binoculars best suits your needs, you can easily find them at sports and gadgets and wearable for you online stores. The official Vortex 
best dealers in the United States. We've included links to all these and other binoculars in the video description. And a key fact in determining the quality and price of binoculars comes down to the technology used in making the lenses, the coating supplied to them, and the quality of the prisms. All these elements work together to affect the sharpness of the image, its accuracy in terms of geometry, and the absence of distortion or blurriness, especially around the edges of the frame. High quality lenses with advanced multi coatings improve light transmission and reduce glare. And prisms, especially those made from materials like Bay K4 or paired with extra low dispersion glass, help minimize internal reflections, providing high clarity and sharpness. If we take a look at specific budget examples like the Vortex Triumph HD for $99 or the Crossfire for $149, even these affordable models come with high quality prisms made from Bay K4 glass. This ensures better light transmission through the prism, minimizes distortions and delivers high clarity and contrast which is typically found in mid-range and even higher segments. The lenses in these models are also equipped with multi-coated anti-reflective layers which enhance light transmission and reduce glare providing image quality you would expect from binoculars that cost much more. So even in these budget versions you are still getting solid performance. However, compared to more expensive models they do fall short in aspects like light transmission, image sharpness in low light conditions and overall attention to detail in more challenging environments. It's still a budget model, but one that's perfectly suitable for most basic tasks and activities. If we take a more expensive model like the Viper HD, it features lenses made with more expensive extra low dispersion glass, which significantly reduces chromatic aberration and improves sharpness and color fidelity. This glass is more costly to produce and delivers higher image quality. The prisms are also made from Bay K4 glass, but with added phase correction and dielectric coating, which increases the reflectivity of the prisms and enhances image quality, making it clearer and brighter. These details can make a big difference if you need binoculars for various situations, like spotting birds and animals at different times of the day and throughout the year. Priced at over $1,000, the Razer uses ultra-low dispersion glass, which delivers even higher image quality, virtually eliminating all types of aberrations. The lenses also feature more advanced anti-reflective coatings that significantly improve light transmission. Additionally, it uses apochromatic prisms, which provide the highest image quality with Without distortion, even in extreme conditions. In practice, this means you'll notice sharper details, especially in low light, and more vibrant colors with minimal glare. Whether you are observing distant wildlife at dawn or stargazing at night, the clarity and precision of the image will be noticeably superior compared to the lower-end models. Personally, I love using it to gaze at the night sky, study constellations, and observe the moon. It's just perfect for these purposes. I'm actually working on a separate review for this binocular, so stay tuned. It's an incredible piece of equipment. Well, if you need binoculars for everyday use like bird watching in the park, nature walks or casual use on vacation and you don't want to plan to use them in extreme conditions or low light, budget models like the Diamondback, Crossfire or Triumph HD will be an excellent choice. They are incredibly durable, come with a lifetime warranty from Vortex and offer quality that exceeds their price. And if you need something more powerful for specific conditions like low light, extreme mountain hikes, for hunting or photographing wildlife at long distances, where high image clarity is crucial, it makes sense to consider more expensive models like the Viper HD or even the Razer UHD. These binoculars offer enhanced optics with advanced coatings on the prisms and lenses, which minimize distortions and improve light transmission. In real life use, this results in a sharper image with greater detail and better contrast, especially at long distances. Well, hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching, stay tuned and see you in the next video.